and a series of events in commemoration of his 100 days in office and dignitaries from far and wide had converged on the ancient Oyo town to commission the 34.85 kilometer Oyo Fashoka Ishenyi Link Road, which is strategic for transportation of commuters and food items to other parts of the country. Before the construction of the road, commuters at that locality had had to contend with dilapidated infrastructure, but that is now a thing of the past as the road is now set to be inaugurated. On Saturday, 31st October 2020, at that crucial meeting, both KBAC and the governor agreed on the need to fix this road. And our promise keeper, secondary governor, gave KBAC a definite assurance that, and I'm almost quoting him, as soon as the contractor handling the money I say road project has completed the road to his saying, I will order them to turn around and face for your Isaiah road. I wish to state categorically that this road is very important to your state's economy because it's the shortest existing Afati concrete surface, single carriage linking Oyo and Shai Township. And it's also the only link through which Fashola a big business, a big business industrial hub will be assessed. On a few occasions, I left Abuja, came to Ibadan. I had to come to Oyo to pass through the road. And exactly what he told me was what I meant. They started from his same hand and they started from Oyo hand. And this is what we are witnessing to. Special guest of honor and former Nigerian President Chief Olusegun Obasanjo calls for more investments in agriculture and education, which he says are pivotal to the sustenance of democracy. Governor Mackenday and his guests also visited the Fashola Farms, which is expected to be converted into an agri-business industrial hub. The two leaders also inaugurated the Ishein campus of the Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, where they renewed their call for more initiatives to develop local economy. Democracy that nurtures unemployment is failure. Democracy that nurtures lack of peace and security on the throne overboard. This 34.85 kilometer ESIU road has high economic significance, not just to the people of Oyo and Isai, but to the entire state and region. The fact that it is a federal road highlights its importance. But as we find out, as we move on to inspect the former Fashola Livestock Farm, this road hosts one of our biggest assets in our state. If the previous administrations have laid the framework as they did in Lagos, then we will not come in and have to lay the foundation again. So I'm happy that in the last four years, we have been able to pull our state out of the trenches to a large extent and we will continue to take sustainable actions which the next administration can build on. Both leaders say they will continue to contribute their quota towards spreading infrastructure development across the country. They say empowering the ordinary Nigerians should be the priority of all at this critical juncture. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.